Hello folks, welcome back to this week's video. Today we're going to be talking about digital twins. Ooh, exciting, because it's the future. So what is a digital twin? Well, a digital twin is a virtual representation of a building or an infrastructure project created from using data from the design, construction and operational phase. It can be used to simulate and analyze the performance of a physical building infrastructure and also to plan and optimize construction. So a digital twin can be created by combining data from various sources, such as building information, modeling software, such as BIM, sensor data and data from surveys such as UAV flights, laser scanning and mobile mapping. Now the digital twin can be used in various ways during the construction process to plan, to manage and to maintain. After construction is complete it can be used for monitoring, simulation and analysis during the building operation phase. The great thing about a digital twin is it allows collaboration. It allows different people and different stakeholders to use the twin to to validate designs, check for errors or mistakes, evaluate constructability, and identify potential issues ahead of time. Post-construction, it can be used for asset management, it can be used for simulation, it can be used for further design. The information you put into and get out of the digital twin can be endless. Okay, so one of the most popular ways in which to create a digital twin, especially in construction, is through scanning and photogrammetry. Technologies and hardware such as LiDAR, UAV drone, 3D scanners can be used to capture the real environment and create a digital twin of a physical space, like a building, a city, a factory, or even just a piece of land. Now, to create the perfect twin, combining these methods really gives you the most amount of information. For example, let's take a housing development site. You've got buildings, you've got internals of the buildings, and then you've obviously got the outside area. So a UAV drone would be perfect for capturing the outside areas. And then for the internal areas, you'd be looking at something like a mobile mapping unit or even a laser scanner. Now, what do you do with all this information once you've got it? Well, these scans and the photogrammetry create point clouds. And point clouds are the base for any digital twin because they contain a huge amount of information. So the point cloud is one aspect of the digital twin, but then if you also have perfect photos, you can create a really good 3D mesh model. You may have already seen examples of these and they look really impressive. Now, but actually building the perfect digital twin is just the first part of the process. Going on then and using that digital twin to push in asset management, to look at monitoring a site, to look at program management when constructing a site, is huge. All right, so now we've looked at a digital twin, how you can create one. The next step is to look at what you can use your digital twin for, which I'm not going to cover in this video because to be honest with you, there is so much to discuss. But please come back because that is going to be a video that's going to be popping up in the near future. If you like this video, go ahead, click like and subscribe to the channel. Please go ahead and say down in the comments exactly what you think about digital twins. If you've seen a digital twin, how one might have helped you on a certain project if you have been using one, anything digital twin, just go ahead and let me know. Um, and we'll be back with another video real soon.